to a new video. Today I am doing a video that has been requested for a long time. It's how to beat Outpost 31 a uh, normal stage. Um, so because I have all these items that are not available anymore, um, I wanted to show you how to do it. Um, well, basically without those. So I decrypted every um, item I had. And equipped a strong assault rifle and a strong, uh, not really strong, but uh, yeah, it is quite um, like we would say the damage has to be up 160. So I equipped those and now we are here. Now, if you want to get the S grade in these maps, you will have to get headshots. You really have to have a lot of headshots. I think it's uh, over 100 headshots, and um, the amount goes up with a variation of uh, difficulties. So, I'm playing with G36E, which you can get quite easily. Also, the L96A1, you can get a lot of different weapons. Um, would you be so? Um, yeah, I just chose some. Uh, this one you can just step fire, which I don't do that often. So yeah. Um, but why the GT6E? Uh, the GT6E has a very good scope. Um, has very high damage, and uh, the reload time is not really that high. Also, the spread is normal, um, but in this map you still are able to lose a lot of ammunition uh, because you don't get the ammo crates that much. Um, so yeah, try to be careful with your ammunition uh, or just walk around. Walk around. You don't have to take this uh, quite fast. Um, you just have to walk. Look at how I'm walking. I am never like standing still for a moment. Well, only if I have to like. I don't know. Uh, I have to scratch my back. I don't know. But never stand still because when you stand still, you're a natural target. Tar also, I placed my uh, sprint to Q, the um, key Q on the keyboard, or Z for no, uh, no, not Z, I uh, A. I mean, for people with the Belgium uh, keyboard. So it's next to the uh, walking right uh, to up. Uh, walking forward, geez. Sorry. Um, and when I do this, I don't have to break my freaking hand just to get running. And uh, yeah, it works for me, but if it doesn't work for you, uh, then that might be. And then you just have to figure a different way out. Because I don't know any other hints or tips, whatever. So now there are only go- no? Yes, now there are going to be those things. What you have to do with these is you have to get from a distance. Actually, don't waste too much bullets like I am doing. You should be fine with about 30 bullets because they are just one hit kill uh, at this stage, okay? At normal. So, what you want to do is I am just walking straight to 
this. As soon as you see one of those, you want to hit them. If you see them coming too close, you want to move away from them. You might get hit, that's no big problem. But, um, in later stages like extreme or hard, it gets a bit more difficult with these things because with hard they are like four of those can kill you immediately and they are fast or two I don't know <laughs> quite different um, so yeah just like all the other fire teams you don't want to walk towards the bomb and you want to keep your distance from these bombing suit people while still shooting the other things and always uh, keep your ammunition good at least one of the um, weapons you are carrying at that moment uh, I'm talking about the secondary weapon or the it's the same, whatever but I mean the second weapon always have that because when you get stuck between them it can happen to everyone you just want to get out of them so again a new round those beasts are going to spawn up there you can try to shoot them through there but it's harder than it looks you can also like to throw a grenade look uh, I did not watch but I think no they don't come from the back in later stadia they will so watch your back see it, it doesn't really hurt you uh, the only problem is when you want to get a lot of headshots um, yeah. it, it is actually not really that hard uh, to pull off this with well it's just basically like cabin fever and cabin fever is one of the easiest um, fire teams there is I'm not saying you're bad if you can't beat that you just have to get th that's what single player um, is for you have to get uh, known to the movements of the game so yeah don't think you are bad. It's just you have to learn. I just like to walk like I press every walking button there is. So don't worry about that. Okay? Well, everything is reloaded. Okay, they are coming there. And you can also look at the map, right? You can press minus. And then the map will be um, from a further distance. See, that's why you don't want to uh, reload when they come, because they can all come, but because of their uh, different writing, you can actually avoid them quite easily. I'm sorry I didn't write any scripts or something for this, so yeah, I'm just thinking about what to tell about this game. I also haven't played this map so much, I actually never play it because it takes so long and in the end it can go wrong, like, for no reason. Um, I actually should also have shown you that uh, getting headshots indeed gives you an S grade, I will no, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, if you ever meet me in game, you can see my S gradings in single player mode. It's at 71%. And there it is for everything except um, Desert Thunder, uh, Normal, and actually quite a lot more but only from fire team like I, it is just testing if you can beat the game while actually having to acquire uh, 
certain establishment requirement. I don't know what the English word is. Um, look, I can just walk into them. Sometimes they hit me, but whatever. It's two damage. Two damage is easy. But and then you can see that I actually got a lot of uh, S grades. However, I have to thank, I think it was Venom Hawk, uh, whose post I saw at the forums. And then it said that I had to have 143 headshots to get an S grade in Max HQ normal. So I did that and indeed I got an S grade. And yeah, I should have gotten all the S grades, but I was like, I tried uh, Black Lung, but you were so focused on doing the one thing that you are actually like not really making it. Oh, um, by the way, you can see these very bluish things. Yeah, you want to hit those in the head. Um, I also would have chosen to take a uh, automatic sh uh, sh sniper rifle. See, that's two hits and they are dead. Two freaking hits. And again, I don't try to uh, sit still or do nothing. Keep that in mind because you can get stuck. And if you get uh, get stuck, don't worry. You can try to fight yourself out of it. Um, it, it can also not really work. And if you're trapped like this, don't worry. You should be able to make it without these stupid zombies getting really in the way <clears throat> that thing just does not want to die I hit it oh there it is oh no see you can get out quite easily ah uh, it takes some time and practice and stuff and also always keep an eye on the map it's there for a reason so it died and it gave the most amazing thing however I only have one bullet left so I'm trying to shoot the things that can hurt me the most. Um, these I can actually knife without really taking damage. And as you can see, I'm standing still, and then they can hit me easier, more easily. I mean, and if I do this, then they can't. Um, it's round ten, I think. So you want to reload everything and don't shoot because you will take every ammo with you from this moment. I only have 6 minutes on the clock. You really want to haste this especially with extreme mode because you don't have enough time in extreme mode. Actually, in extreme mode you really don't have time. So... With this, you actually want to hit his back. Um, it's the only thing that is really lit up. And you want to hide from him when he shoots. Which is like a normal thing to do. It is not always uh, given that you will succeed at this. Because then the thing does not want to die. Oh, 
I always keep an eye uh, on him if you can. You don't want to get too close to him. But uh, like Dread, he is programmed a bit too enthusiastic. Like he can hit you in the head and the game is over. That's what's the problem. So really just look at what I'm doing. Uh, it can be still that I will fail. Uh, I am just doing the thing that I normally do with Dr. Um, MG. I don't know where he is, which is a problem. And always uh, try to hide when you can, okay? Don't do anything stupid like grabbing the thing because one headshot can just get rid of the pleasure of playing this game. Oh, I did make a mistake. Never wait too long there. And I did a mistake again there. By showing my face to him. You really want to hit it, the thing on his back because that really, really works. Did he break something? All allowed to shoot these things. He actually also is shooting them. And the red boxes don't um, give you ammunition for this thing. See, it can be so quick there. So, when the boss is down, you're done, and you have won the fire team. I will just show this, like, okay. And, well, what can I say more about this? I never completed the extreme edition, even with um, first aid kits and med kits. Really, it was so difficult. I did survive. All the, I think it's 25 minutes that they give you, but it really isn't enough. Trust me, it isn't enough. And yeah, that kind of is a problem. Because if you can't finish it, you can't ever get a 100% as a grade. And yeah, so I don't know how long this will take. I will just shut up for a moment. It's pretty hard. So as you can see, I got an A grading and I got only 49 ad shots. If you get over a hundred, I don't know how much over a hundred, you will get an S grade. Uh, I might do a video on that. Uh, if you want me to do more videos on these uh, solo fire teams, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to join the pack, uh, click the subscribe button. And as always, have a nice day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. I'll see you. Bye.